Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today I would like to share with you a series of exercises focusing on releasing any tension you might feel in the neck and shoulder area. Sometimes we, um, our posture is not really uh, a correct one, so we tend to um, grow tension in this uh, area of our body. So we'll see how to release the tension and how to um, improve the posture. Um, you might need a little cushion under your head when you are in a supine position. Make sure it is a, it's not a soft one because you really need support under your cervical spine. So I, I use this one which is like a very, very thin but um, it's like kind of hard. So um, make sure you, you, at home you can find, for example, you can use a book, for example. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. So let's start by lying in a supine position. You can try to place that cushion under your head if you, if you need, or it, it's not necessary, but you can try. And take a moment here just to find your neutral pelvis and to find really the, uh, the placement of your shoulder blades and the, uh, the opening in your collarbones. So feel that uh, you're really stretching that cervical spine. So we'll start with what I call the pigeon movement. So it's a gentle pressure of your, the back of your head on the, on the mat, on the floor. So make sure you're not really doing this with your, your chin. So it's, a, it's like you're pressing your chin directly towards the floor. So it's a, it's a different kind of, it's a different direction of the pressure. So make sure that you press for a few moments. So see that you're activating your back muscles to in between your shoulder blades and then release. So you're pressing down. So the chin might slightly go towards your chest, but it's a very slight movement, very thin and release. And let's do two more. So press in this direction and release. And let's do last one like this. So press and release. So find that nice and comfortable position. And now inhale here and exhale. Start bringing your arms over your head. So we'll start mobilizing the shoulders and the arms. You can uh, breathe, breathe freely. You can inhale as your arms go overhead. You can really uh, find your breath here. As long as you mobilize your shoulders and your arms, and you, you feel free to, um, to bend your arms slightly as you place them. So you can place them on the floor for one second and then release back to your sides. And let's do two more. Up, overhead and down. Make sure there is a, an abdominal connection so your rib cage is not opening. And then bring your arms up palms facing each other, so make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, inhale and exhale, uh, open your arms, inhale, come up, and exhale too. So make sure your shoulders stay away from your ears as you begin. Inhale up, and exhale, go towards the floor without really placing your arms on the floor, and exhale here, so really feel that nice opening in your chest, exhale. And let's do two more. Inhale and exhale, open. Inhale, up. And exhale, open. Inhale, up. Now let's start with circles. Inhale, bring your arms over your head and exhale. Brush your hips as you go down. Inhale, arms over your head and exhale, open and brush your hips every time. So if you feel any discomfort in your shoulders, feel free to reduce the dimension, so to make a smaller circle. So really listen to your body, listen to what it needs. And let's do one more circle this direction and then stay up. Inhale here and exhale, bring it down to your hips. Inhale over your head and keep going in this direction. Exhale, inhale and again listen to the movement in your shoulders, the mobilizing, and exhale down, inhale up, and let's do one more circle in this direction, and bring it up, 
So make sure your arms are vertical, so they're really aligned with your shoulders. So now, like scissors, and like twist your head towards your arm that goes down and start and keep twisting your head one direction and then the other. So we're mobilizing the head left and right and left. And let's do four more and three. And let's do two more and one and bring your arms up and then release them on the floor. So now if you have this cushion under your head, please uh, re remove it so, and find this elongation, bring your arms to your side and bring your heels a little bit closer to your glutes. So now we'll start with our hip rolls. So you'll feel the weight coming on your shoulder blades. So we're trying to massage that upper body part. Inhale here and exhale, imprint your lower back and exhale, press up, articulate the spine. So bring that weight on your shoulder blades. Feel that there is always that connection in your abs. Inhale here and exhale, roll all the way down and to a neutral pelvis. Inhale and exhale, bring it up and press your feet down in your mat. Inhale, stay and exhale, release vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's do last one here. Inhale and exhale, bring it up. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way down. So you feel, you feel free to leave your arms this way or you can open them on the floor. So really feel that stretch in, your, in the front of your torso. Inhale and exhale. Let's repeat that rolling up. So really press onto your shoulder blades. You feel that you're massaging the upper back. Inhale and exhale, release down. So really control that wave down. Inhale and exhale, roll up. So feel that your legs and glutes are really working. Inhale and exhale, come back down. And let's do one more. Inhale and exhale, vertebrae by vertebrae, come up. Inhale, press and exhale, release. And as a last sequence, see if you can bring your arms over your head, but they are placed on the floor. So you can release, you can bend your elbows a little, so find a comfortable position here. And let's do three more. Inhale and exhale, roll up. Press your feet on the mat. Inhale, stay at the top. And exhale, release down. So really massage your spine all the way through. Inhale and exhale, two. Press up, inhale, stay, and exhale, release down. And let's do one more movement like this. Inhale and exhale up, press your feet down. Inhale, stay at the top, and exhale, release. You can place the cushion under your head again if you, if you had it in the first sequence. Release your arms and bring your knees into your chest. You can cross your ankles and really press gently your chin to your chest and you can rock from side to side just to pressing the whole spine towards your mat and find your natural breath again and from here release your feet on the mat turn to one side and gently come up to a seated position so you can be cross-legged or if you can, if you prefer it, you can grab a chair. So make sure that your sitting bones are uh, nice and vertical on the floor, that you're really elongating your spine. So now we were talking about that pigeon movement. So think about the pigeon doing this movement. We are interested especially in the back movement. So think about having a wall behind you, like you had your mat on the floor and you're really trying to press onto that wall so you're not really letting your chin go forward but you're really you're really aware of this position and see how the whole the whole body changes so my shoulders are curved here and if i press my chin back uh, the chest is open and i really feel the support in my entire spine so make it make sure that you feel the support and from here, 
let's turn our head from side to side. So remain aware of that gentle pressure back and really see as far as you can go, go as far as you can. I mean, don't force it, really accept your range of movement. And let's do two more, right and left and bring it back to center. And then let's go, let's bring one ear to the shoulder. And again here, feel that you're pressing your shoulders down so you're not really moving your shoulders. You're gently alternating sides. Press gently. And let's do one last sequence each side, right, left, and bring it back, bring it back to center. And now here, let's do chin to chest and up. So here again, you can decide how small, how big this movement is. And whenever you come, you look up, make sure that you're supporting your head, the weight of your head. So you're not really letting your head go fall back. And let's do one movement more up, bring it back to a neutral position. So we can continue this movement. So bring it up and then as you bring it out, bring it down, flex forward. So there is a slight thoracic flexion and then bring it up. So you're rolling all the way up and you can use your breath, exhale as you bring it up, as you close your rib cage and inhale, bring it up. You can extend your rib cage, your torso a little bit and exhale, bring your weight forward. So make sure that you stays on your sit bone and inhale up and let's do two more so you can explore the range of movement here and up and let's do one last movement like this exhale inhale up and from here come back to a neutral position now bring your right arm up bigger a big circle and you follow with your gaze and alternate left side big circle and come back to center inhale up and exhale so you're moving your arm but you're following your arm with your torso and with your gaze with your head so there's a slight rotation in your chest and your head inhale up and exhale down and let's do two more inhale up and down. So you're really trying to opening, to open your chest and to improve that posture. And from here, rotate your shoulders, circle your shoulders a few times back. And here you can place your fingertips in front of you, or if you don't, if you don't reach the floor, don't worry. Inhale here and exhale. So you're doing a, a circle. You're drawing a circle with your fingertips on the floor. So see it. Go as far as you can in your, on your back and see that your scapulae are retracting a little. So they're moving on your back. They're go, going closer to the spine. So feel that those back muscles are activating. And let's do one last movement like this. Now we'll switch to a unilateral. So let's go to your right and Again, there is a slight twist in your torso and your head follows. So you're really watching, like you're watching over beyond your shoulder, but don't force it. See, so accept the movement as it is. And let's do one last towards your left and come back to a neutral position, a central position. And from here, let's go a, a few moments into a prone position. So let's lie on our backs. And here, your, your feet are hip distance apart. Your, you have your elbows entirely on your, on your mat. You're supporting your, your shoulders, so you're not really collapsing on the floor, but you're really pressing your shoulders away from your ears. So as you inhale, come up. There's an extension in your thoracic spine 
and exhale, bring it down. And again, inhale, make sure your glutes stay active. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, shoulders away from your ears, neck long. And exhale, release. And let's do two more like this. Inhale up. And exhale down. You can go a little further every time if you feel like. And let's do last one in this variation. Inhale and exhale. So now, as you bring it up, stay up a few seconds and then turn your head right and left, back to center and release. And again, up, right, left, center, and let's start from the left. Next time we go up, up, left, right, center, and release. And let's do last one. Extension, turn to your left, turn to your right, bring it back to center, and release. One last mo movement here. So see if you can interlace your fingertips behind your back. Extend your arms, inhale, and exhale, bring it up. Or you can inhale, as we were doing before, earlier, and come back to release. Inhale up, like you're pressing your hands towards your feet, and release, and let's do two more. Inhale up, feel those back muscles work, and release, and let's do last one. Inhale up, bring it down, and release your, your hands, your shoulders, close your feet together, and press into a child's pose. So let's take a few breaths here. You can place your hands under your forehead, or you can turn your head to one side. See what is more comfortable for you. And stay here for a few breaths. And then if it's possible, extend your arms forward and roll all the way up to a seated position. And when you're here, if it's possible, rotate a couple of times your shoulders back. And let's do a little sequence in quadruped position. So you're on all fours. And again here, you're not collapsing with your chest and head, but you're like pressing away the floor. So you're finding that wall again behind your head. So let's start by mobilizing the scapulas, the shoulder blades. So we're retracting the scapulas. So the, the scapulas move towards the spine and protracting the scapula, shoulders away from each other. Inhale, retract your scapula and exhale, protract. Inhale, retract and exhale, protract. So it's not a big movement. You're not moving your arms. The entire movement belongs to your shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale, press away from the mat. And let's do one more. Inhale. So make sure that the movement stays in your upper back. And come back to a neutral position. So find that support in the lower back so you're not collapsing down. You're really elongating that part of your body. Inhale and exhale. Let's do the whole cat stretch. Just curve your spine and bring your gaze to your navel. Stay here a few moments. You can breathe naturally and turn your head from side to side a few times. Just release that neck and the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, come back to a neutral position and your gaze a little bit forward. Find that wall behind your head. So make sure that you're aware of that push in your, in your cervical spine. Inhale and exhale again. Round your spine from the navel. Draw the navel in. Inhale, stay here. And exhale, come back to a neutral spine. And find your gaze. Inhale and exhale, curve round the whole spine. So release neck and shoulders. Inhale, stay here and exhale, come back to neutral. Now inhale and as you exhale, as you round your spine, bring it back to a child's pose. So see if you can sit back on your heels. Inhale, stay here and exhale, come back. And as you come back, roll your spine to neutral. 
and find awareness in your cervical area. Inhale and exhale as you round, bring your weight back on your heels, heels. Inhale, stay here and exhale. So you're really rippling that spine forward and back. Inhale, let's do last one. And exhale, round your spine towards your heels. Inhale and exhale, bring it all the way up. Shoulders away from your ears and stay here. Very well done. So here, let's find our seated positions once again. And you can interlace your fingers in front of your chest and you can curve your spine. You really want to round your upper back and you want to press one shoulder and then the other forward. So you're really stretching that side of your upper back. Let's do one more each side and last one. Bring it to center and roll up. So your arms go up to the sky. Find your gaze forward and release your arms to your side. And once more, interlace your fingers and really round that upper back. So find that stretch and press one shoulder and the other forward. So you're really stretching that side of your upper back. Let's do two more. One more and bring it all the way up. So find that vertical spine from the crown of your head and release. And now from here, your fingertips are on the mat. Inhale, right arm up and exhale. Let's go into a lateral flexion. So bring, keep your gaze here for the first sequence. Inhale up and exhale down. Left arm, inhale and exhale. Thoracic flexion to a lateral, to the side. Inhale up. So let's do a modification on the next one. Inhale and exhale, lateral flexion. And from here, this arm, grab your, your knee and see if you can twist your torso. So make sure that your rib cage is closed so you find the stretch in your uh, back, the back of your neck and the right side of your torso. And then bring it back to a lateral flexion and then bring it all the way up. And let's do last one. Inhale and exhale, lateral flexion, and then twist, grab that knee and really feel that your left shoulder is going down. You're closing your ribcage and like pull for a few moments. You can rock your head from side to side and then bring you back to a lateral flexion here and release and just place your hands on your knees and circle your, your shoulders a few times the way very well done. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel to see more videos like this. I hope really this was helpful and I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you so much.